Ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful good morning from Frankfurt International Airport and today we are flying Germany's latest airline Eurowings Discover in business class on an Airbus A30 all the way to Barcelona. Eurowings Discover is Lufthansa's latest attempt to get into the long-haul leisure market which is traditionally dominated by Condor, Germany's second largest airline. Previous attempts of Lufthansa to add old Airbus A340s to Eurowings fleet as well as the Airbus A330 have failed miserably. Today's flight starts at the Lufthansa business class check-in counter at Terminal 1. After I was handed my boarding pass by a lovely Indian lady, I made my way to the Lufthansa Business Lounge, which is accessible for Eurowings Discover passengers as well. The lounge was absolutely packed. No seating, no space, no nothing. In fact, it was even the first time I saw people sleep on the floor of a business class lounge, which I think is a bit too much. Instead of standing around the lounge, I decided to go for a walk around the airport. Since the pandemic, Frankfurt became the undisputed home of the Queen of the Skies, the 747. And the airport itself was in full swing again, heavy traffic from all around the world. But finally, with a little delay, the star of the day arrived, your wings Airbus A330, which was going to take me to Barcelona. A very eager and professional station manager at the gate contributed to a perfect boarding experience, making sure that everyone stays in their boarding zones. At the door, I was greeted by some really lovely crew, unlike my Eurowings flight the day before. My first impression of the cabin was, it's not too bad, especially for a budget airline. It looked fresh, clean and spacious and I wouldn't mind spend a 10 hour flight on this plane. I then got comfortably settled in my seat and we started our pushback. So guys, and here we are on board your Wings uh, brand new Airbus A330-300 um, which comes with 27 seats in business class and a very interesting configuration. So you have like turn seats here, uh, three of them, and then um, as well as like it's very similar to what Malaysia Airlines, for example, has on their Airbus A330s. So also this plane is an ex uh, Edelweiss plane, which was operating for the it's a Swiss um, low-cost carrier. So currently, your wings discover which used to fly as just your wings and then kind of rebranded it and at the moment they have five flying 30s and this one used to fly for Edelweiss which is um, a Swiss leisure airline but to be honest it's a much better product than uh, you have on the regular your wings discover 330s the, the 200 series um, since you have especially with the throne seat which you should try to get um, offers so much more privacy and let's see what the onboard product is but the crew was really lovely had a great welcome um, they're very uh, service oriented which wasn't the case on my flight yesterday with their uh, narrow body fleet the 320s where I somehow ended up on the inaugural flight from Kiev uh, to Düsseldorf which wasn't planned but it was an awful flight uh, especially when it comes to the crew but uh, on this one it's very different <laughs> Frankfurt and I thought I can give you a bit of a seat tour so uh, this throne seat so if you're lucky enough to get it um, comes with heaps of storage space this is what I really like about it you have a very nice screen in front of you um, 
and uh, whenever you go flat, which I'm going to demonstrate to you a little later, it does do feel like a bit of a coffin experience. I think the last time I had a touring seat was very lucky when I flew Swiss on the Airbus A340. Beautiful seat to have uh, on a long haul flight, even better if you have it on a short haul flight which doesn't happen that often. And usually uh, your wings discover flies to destinations such as Namibia or Las Vegas, uh, mostly like holiday and leisure destinations where Lufthansa doesn't really want to fly to. So your wings is trying to cover this market, which is traditionally covered by Condor, uh, which is the only German airline I think that is not part of the Lufthansa group. Uh, it's a very superior product to what Lufthansa offers on their Airbus A330s on the 222 configuration. So I very much prefer this one here. Side of the water, nice welcome by, uh, uh, it might have been a purser. Um, his name is Max, uh, coming to me and obviously he noticed me filming and then he was giving me um, a quick background on what flight, uh, what today's flight is like. Today's flight is a training flight for the crew to get familiar with the product, um, with the service, but it's an official, officially it's an Air Dolomiti flight, which is also part of the Lufthansa group, but they usually operate Airbus, uh, no Airbus, Embraer's 190s. So um, he said catering and uh, in-flight entertainment isn't going to be working um, because it is Air Dolomiti officially, but uh, there's a lot of young crew here, new crew that get trained on those short flights, which is very common. For example, um, we probably always remember when Turkish Airlines gets a new 350 or Dreamliner, as they did in the past, the, where I was always on those flights, they try and test them between Istanbul and Antalya, so the crew knows how to operate, you know, get to know about uh, how the seats work and the hard products. Really cool that he uh, was very proactive and came here and took that opportunity and say, hey Josh, uh, glad that you're on board, but I want to make sure that you communicate the right stuff. And that's what I'm doing right now, right here. And uh, I hope later I can have uh, a look at the economy class cabin as well, so I can give you a bit of a bit of a review. But uh, yeah, sensational crew. Um, really glad to see uh, this this brand ambassador attitude right you want to give it the best you see the camera and you see it as an opportunity to give the world a good impression of the uh, company that you work for and that is something that uh, was very very genuine as well so max thank you very much and uh yeah let's see how it continues from here and then it was time to get the tray table out because we were going to be served a meal on this flight So in like uh, 50 minutes into the flight, we have a meal in front of me. Um, I've identified some asparagus, but I don't know what that solid white thing is here in the middle. I thought it was a scallop because it looks like a scallop, but it might be something else. And the only way to find out is uh, by trying it. There's also like uh, alcohol, like alcoholic beverages are served here, coffee, juices, drinks, and as said, it is uh, not your wings catering, but it is Air Dolomiti. I do definitely like the tableware, it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let's see what it tastes like. So I think I've figured out what it is. It's some sort of cheese, but it's amazing. It's really delicious, really liking it. So just to summarize the service experience here on your wings discoveries has been excellent you know that is what you want the crew is present in the cabin when they clear your tray they just don't clear your tray they follow up they're wondering do you want to have something else do you want to have another drink how was your food this is what service is all about for premium customers here we do pay um, an additional fee to have this kind of service you know and this was, was that was lacking yesterday unfortunately that I even felt guilty for asking for coffee on the Eurowings flight the 320 flight so I'm um, actually very happy to see a great service attitude here don't know whether it was influenced through my feedback on the previous flight but 
once again, that shows that my mission to make flying better for everybody else is pretty much accomplished because I do review them, I, I'm unbiased and I want to put some pressure on the airlines to enhance flying for everyone. I've also noticed that 70% of you guys are not subscribed yet, so if you want to make my day, hit that subscribe button, it's totally for free. Thank you! It was then time to pop into the bag to see what the economy class of your Wings Discover has to offer. So here we are inside the economy class cabin of the uh, bus T30 um, in a 242 configuration probably as you know it from most of the T30s and uh, it does come with personal entertainment as you can see but it's not working on this flight because it's an air dollar media flight so but generally uh, if they go on a long haul flight to Namibia or something like that you will have um, you will really be able to use the in-flight entertainment which comes with a USB um, as well as a power outlet maybe I don't know I don't see a power outlet anywhere but uh, but yeah there's also going to be a premium economy which they don't have on this one they have uh, a few rows in the front with a bit more leg room but they don't have a dedicated premium economy which I was told they have on the 200 series so um, that's the situation right here, right now. Uh, yeah, there's nothing special about it. It's like a very uh, standard economy class, uh, though it has in-flight entertainment, uh, which is always very much appreciated when you travel long haul um, on an Airbus. Awesome. Let me also quickly give you the best seat option in business class. If you travel with a friend, 2A and B or 4A and B are the perfect seats. And if you weren't able to get your hands on the throne seat, try 6K, 4K or 2K since those are actual window seats and not exposed to the aisle. Uh, we already started in descending, so I uh, hope you can excuse that there's no new review on this flight. I'm sure it's going to be okay, and I wasn't able to show you how it looks like when it's flat. But I have so many reviews of this seat that I'm sure you have a bit of an idea. Um, but yeah, we're descending now, we'll be in Barcelona in a couple of minutes, and uh, yeah, fantastic flight. Um, if they keep on going like this and uh, they keep that service attitude, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a very, uh, very pleasant product. And that should pretty much be it for what I have to say about your Wings Discover. Uh, I liked it, I enjoyed it, I recommend it. And so now let's enjoy the scenes uh, descending into Barcelona. Fun fact actually, last time, the first time I came to Barcelona airport was like three months ago and it wasn't even planned. I was flying Ryanair. Uh, to Ukraine and my flight got diverted to Barcelona because we had some technical issues uh, Very interesting video. Maybe you should check that out as well Sometimes you end up at places that you never wanted to go uh, But that was my first time landing in Barcelona now. It's intentionally and uh, Very much looking forward, but I do have an onward flight um, on Air Europa 787 which is the shortest Dreamliner flight in the world I was told so I'll be flying this one, make sure you subscribe and I would love you to check out my Patreon. Maybe you can support me I'm spending a lot of time and money on those reviews and uh, YouTube is taking a large 10% cut now from revenue. So check out, there's some nice perks. You can join my WhatsApp group. Uh, you get daily updates uh, and uh, it's uh, a lot of fun. Sometimes I even travel with my Patreons. This is it for now, that's all I have to say. Now let's uh, land in Barcelona and uh, yeah, enjoy the scenes. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching and you should subscribe right now because next week I'll be finally posting my Royal Air Maroc 787 Dreamliner flight from Casablanca to Istanbul, which is really worth watching. Once again guys, thank you for watching and we are off to have a safe trip.